Welcome to the kitchen of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do chicken parmesan today. We're starting with some diced onion that's been fried in the juice and grease from Italian sausage that was browned. And then we're going to make some sauce out of that. Got some water boiling. And then we're going to make the chicken breast, slice it up, toss it in some flour, breadcrumbs, maybe some Parmesan, and then put it together with some spaghetti. That's about it. Very easy. We're making a quick marinara right now. And that will start with the grilled onions. Uh, sorry. Uh, what are these? Diced onions fried in sautéed in some sausage grease. It's denim man! All the powers of denim! I am here to show you how to live a life, lead a life of comfortable, relaxed casualness. <laughs> Alright, so this is garlic and onions sautéed in sausage grease. I'm going to put in some wine. I don't have any red wine today, so I'm going to use white wine. Look away if you're a purebred Italian. White wine, balsamic vinegar, and some crushed tomatoes with basil. That's probably enough, but we've got another opened one, so I'll do this too. And some, let's see, this is some better than bouillon, do a little bit of that, gives it a little beefy flavor, maybe a little bit more olive oil, and we'll do some pepper and uh, Italian seasonings like oregano and we'll put the basil in uh, after it simmers for a while we'll put the basil in at the last minute and kind of let it steep all right next we shall prepare the chicken denim man will show you how to prepare the chicken okay a couple good shakes of Italian seasoning and oregano and the sausage goes back in to stew and simmer for a while stir that up I'm going to stir that up this has been stewing for a while, a little bit more balsamic, and some fresh basil. And by some, I mean a lot. And this, and this is the bruschetta topping that I just made, which is freaking awesome. And if you want to know how to make it, too bad! Actually, just watch the other bruschetta video and you'll know how to make it. So this is going in a hot pan, and I'm just going to stir it in and put the lid on and let it steep. And then, it's ready. So now I just need to make the chicken. So that's what I'm going to do now. Alright, so we're going to, instead of flattening these chicken breasts like you're supposed to do, I'm just going to cut them in half lengthwise. So they're thinner than normal. Like that. And then they'll cook quicker. And I don't have to spend five hours pounding them. If they're really thick, you can actually go in thirds, but I think in this case, halves is okay. And then, and then, and then hopefully this will, will keep the cheese breading from burning before the chicken is done. Right, so continue on with this until they're all done. This one's about giant, so I think I'll maybe go thirds on this one. Uh, it's actually going to be okay, I think. Right. Okay, the easiest way to season this is to just put it back in the sink, which I cleaned before I put these in, and I'm going to sterilize afterwards. That is onion powder, this is some garlic powder, some Italian seasoning, <clears throat> and maybe some Cajun seasoning today, and put a little bit of kick in there, and some oregano. But I might someday, but and lots of black pepper, and then I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna um, put these in a breadcrumb mixture with about a cup of fresh grated Parmesan cheese in it, and then we'll fry them. So seasoned breadcrumbs, freshly grated Parmesan cheese, 
and some onion powder and some garlic powder and some black pepper and so we'll do one more black pepper, that's annoying and some Italian seasoning, some more Italian seasoning that's got to be good, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah, chicken get fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and that's we're gonna we're gonna bread the chicken, bread it, put it in the frying pan. All right, so that's frying frying lead. And this spaghetti needs to go in. You've seen this trick before. them over when they look like this. Ah, we need to have after cooking. God bless America. <laughs> Italian America that I love. Alright, so the chicken is done. Baked ziti salad with pears and tomatoes and what else is in here? Croutons, bruschetta, stuff, and our lovely sauce, bolognese or whatever you want to call it, and pasta, and garlic bread, and let's eat. Alright, so this is what the, the typical plate should look like. That's all the salad. This is the pasta and the meat. This small piece right here. Some basil sauce. And some parmigiano on top. And you want a breadstick? You probably don't, do you? Okay. Bon appetit. See you next time on the kitchen. Okay, house.